Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are camping in Jasper, Alberta, Canada. You can see, beautiful site. And when Tesla camping, the first thing you gotta do when you get to your site is one, pick your site. Um, we decided to pull in this direction because it's facing a little bit downhill because in a Tesla Model Y, when the seats are folded down, your head's actually propped up a little bit. So we wanted to make it as flat as possible. Once you do that, the next thing you need to do is get plugged in. And in order to do that, you need to assess what type of power you have available to you. And right over here is our plug. Let's take a look. Fortunately, we have a number of options to choose from. Over here, we've got a 110 volt outlet. We don't want to do that. We've got a standard TT30, which you see at a lot of campsites, which is fine and what we used camping before. But over here on the other side, we have a 1450 outlet, which is gonna give us much higher amperage. So that is what we're going to use. Make sure in order to use that, either side, you're gonna to need to get an adapter for your mobile connector. I happen to have both, so let's get the 1450 hooked up and make sure we're charging. Okay, I have my connector, it's plugged in. We're gonna go ahead and plug in here to our connector and you should see a light come on. We don't have a light come on. So that means that we have a breaker we need to flip and we just gotta look around for it. And I found it. We have a breaker on, green light. Green light is good. Take the other side, plug it into the car. Just like charging at home, we're gonna get a good charge. You can already see that we're at 87% because we were at a supercharger, um, but we're going to be able to run the climate controls all night using camp mode, and that will allow us to keep us where we need to be. So now would be a really good time to explain exactly what camp mode is inside a Tesla. Well, camp mode is a button in your climate controls that you can activate that will basically leave your climate control on and all of your internal auxiliary hookups and USB outlets on while you sleep. Now, unlike a gas car where in order to have power to that kind of thing and have climate running, you have to have your engine running and that is actually quite dangerous. In an electric car, it is 100% and totally safe. So you can have your climate on while you're sleeping and charge all your devices while you're sleeping and you're good to go. That's exactly what camp mode is. But there are some caveats to that. You can't use camp mode if your state of charge is less than 20%. So make sure when you arrive or give yourself enough time to charge to get up to that 20% level. The other thing that you need to know is that when camp mode is running, your sentry mode is off. And I, this, I really wish that this is something that Tesla would change because it would be nice to have the ability to see your cameras and track sentry mode movement while you're in the car. But right now in camp mode, sentry mode is turned off. The other thing that you need to know is that when you enable camp mode, it does not lock your doors. When you're inside your car, make sure you lock your doors manually from either the front screen or from inside the app. Also, it's worth pointing out that the walk away feature when you having your doors automatically lock on your walk away is shut off when camp mode is enabled. So keep that in mind. So back to the setup. All right, we're plugged in, we're charging. We got our campsite ready. The next thing to do when camping in your Tesla is setting up the bed and it goes right there. Clearly we're on a big trip here. It's about 20 days and we have a lot of stuff. And in order to sleep there, all of that stuff needs to go somewhere else. So it's a process of just pulling everything out and moving things up to the driver's side area and also utilizing the space underneath the second row, which there's plenty I'll show you there in a second. Oh, when you're in Canada, you get some party crashers like these elk here. Pretty cool. All right, you can see that the back of the car is mostly cleaned out except for our mattress and our window shade. So where did all of that extra stuff go? Well, let me show you. As I said at the beginning of this video, there is a ton of space in this car that is not the back. And the first area that I wanna show you is in front of the second row seats. Because there is no drive shaft, because it's an electric car, 
there is a ton of space down there to cram just about anything you want. So for us, it's just a bunch of odds and ends and backpacks and bags and things that are holding bedding and that kind of stuff. So that's what we have there. And up front is where we have the rest of our stuff. In the front, we have on the passenger side our cooler that we travel with us. We have got a, actually three different coolers in this car right now. If you want to check out those, I have videos for that on my channel. But the main cooler that we use is one that goes in the back seat normally while we're driving because we can reach it. That goes up here in the front. All of our food here is up in the front seat. It's important here in Canada to make sure all your food is inside because there are bears. And if the food is outside, the bears will smell it and they will get into your campsite. And that's not a good thing. So make sure that it's up there and enclosed inside your car. And over on the driver's side, you can see I've got a little friend elk here right behind me. Over on the driver's side, we have all of our extra stuff, basically everything else. And you'll see some bedding here as well. That's just a temporary location until we actually get the bed set up. And that is the next order of business. Now, a bit of a tip is that in order to maximize space when in the back while you're camping, it is easy to create a quick camping profile which moves the seat and everything on at least on the driver's side as far forward as possible and it pushes the steering wheel as far forward as possible maximizing your packing space the next step would be to install the mattress and this particular mattress is a game changer in my opinion over an all foam mattress or an inflatable mattress this is a combination foam self-inflating mattress from Lost Horizon. And I have a video that covers just this mattress if you want to learn more. I've already slept on this mattress once and I can tell you that this is a camping game changer in a Tesla. Before we do that, I want to talk about this cover here. I have a cargo cover. The cargo cover is for the cargo area, but I've camped a couple of times and there are oftentimes some things you want to store outside your car when you're camping. Maybe your shoes or in this case our tent. Um, in this particular setup we aren't going to be using a tent for camping. We're going to be doing that over the next two days down in Banff, Canada. But the tent is totally optional and if just a one night stay a tent is pretty much something you don't need. But if you are going to be staying in a place for more than one day and you want a place to hang out and spread out inside your car is not it. A tent does a really good job with that and the tent that I have is from a company called Tensla. I have a video on my channel covering that as well if you want to know more. But for tonight we're going to store it outside. I'm going to pull this cargo mat and set it right here on the ground. So I can store our shoes and our tent on here so it's not actually sitting on the ground. So we'll get that moved in later, but for now, let's get this mattress set up. This mattress comes with an optional portable pump from Lost Horizon. I would highly recommend this. It doesn't come with the actual mattress itself, but it does help inflate quickly. Otherwise, it's gonna take about 30 minutes for this to self-inflate. And more importantly, it actually draws a vacuum when you're looking to deflate it, which makes it a heck of a lot easier to roll up. Um, but for now, let's get it out. Slide it in place. Now there is a valve up at the front we need to flip to inflate, otherwise it's gonna stay just like this. So let me do that real quick. Okay, I can hear the air coming in, but I'm gonna assist it by using this particular little pump here. Um, it also services as a lantern and a um, USB charging brick for your phone if you need it, but right now I need it to be a pump. Air mattress is ready to go. All that we have left to do is put on the bedding and we are gonna get that done now like this. There you go. Our bed is made. The next thing we need to do is get all of the covers or all of the windows covered up and blacked out. Now, I have already installed a sunshade on the overall roof. Now it's just to block out most of the light. Light still does come through. Um, I don't have a good solution for that just yet, but I do I think I have one that I'm going to be able to show you here in a little while in a different video. But these window covers from Tezcamp 
do an awesome job and they go on super quick and simple and I've used them a couple of times already and you can see that unlike a lot of things like a poncho, once you take it out of the bag it ain't going back in, it goes in the bag just fine. And uh, so let's go ahead and get those put on real quick before it gets dark. I'm not going to show you in this video how to install these window covers because I actually have a separate video just for that. So go ahead and follow the link uh, in the video right here if you want to see more about these window covers. We are all settled in for the night. The window shades are up. They're doing a good job of keeping the light out and privacy inside the car. The mattress that we are on from Lost Horizon is made to specifically fit the Model Y and up here toward our heads it is about the size of a full-size mattress. Down by our feet it's closer to a twin and I would say that two friendly people can very easily sleep in this car overnight. Camp mode is running, climate set to a nice comfortable temperature and we're going to settle in for the night so with that we'll just say good night. Hopefully this video helped you out. Camping in a Tesla is an awesome experience. If you own a Tesla and you've never camped, give it a try. You will not regret it. If you are looking to buy a Tesla and you think you might want to camp in it, go for it. Now, if you're going to buy a new Tesla, make sure you use a referral code to save some dollars or some free FSD or get the points to cash in on whatever you want. Make sure you use a referral code. Any referral code will do but if you want to use mine, that would be greatly appreciated. There's a link below. If you're new to the channel and you like videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. What are you waiting for? Get camping in your Tesla.